Of them little and two of them big. They danced all night at the pig town jig. The two that were little were just half grown. The two that were big were big as a barn, big as a barn and tall as a tree. Take them on down to the factory. Slice them into bacon, chop them into ham, roll them into hot dogs, squeeze them into spam. Throw their little eyes out in the rain, pickle their feet and scramble their brains. Here's a little song about two wet pigs standing by the slop trough smoking their cigs Hoping to God that they never get big They danced all night at the pig town jig Here's a little song about pigtail pigs Stealing Lori soda, smoking her cigs They don't worry about getting big They dance all night at the pigtail jig They don't worry about getting big they dance all nine at the pigtails jig. Pigtails pigs are happy pigs. Do 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 do. As long as I've known Lori, she's always rescued animals. They didn't give her very much chance of living, and then it didn't seem so bad that she couldn't walk if if she would just live. Everybody is really amazed by the fact that one girl in a wheelchair could be doing so much out here. She's kind of like the shepherd of the pigs. I see Lori's current situation as dire. Every bit of money she has goes to these pigs. Who keeps 25 pigs in their house? <laughs> Dealing with workman's comp has been really horrible. She gets severely depressed at times. As far as they're concerned, they don't need to cover it. The insurance company is hoping that she will die. We're gravely concerned about the money that she's being paid for attendant care. I got you cigarettes, 13 a carton, and a free lighter. I can afford to keep smoking. I think she should get rid of uh, half the herd. She's got too much to do out here and too many pigs. She might as well have a flipping zoo. I guess maybe he thinks she should shoot a whole bunch of them. If they took the land, I think it would kill her. <laughs> you are my sunshine. I'm feeling better today. I have good days and bad days. Sunshine. Well, I think it's just a matter of time before she goes under. Maybe this is what God had in mind for her. She was just born not wanting to hurt any living creature. She doesn't want to get rid of even one pig. Sometimes I just go home and I cry all the way home because I feel so bad for her. So please don't take my sunshine.
I build them pig houses, but the pig houses are for the outside pigs, so to speak. And the in-house pigs are going to continue to be in-house pigs. She was born that way. You know, she was just born not wanting to hurt any living creature. It's just God put that in her. He doesn't put that in everybody. I'm Lori, uh, Githurlo, and I, I have Big Tail Sanctuary. Uh, and the number of pigs here, I've asked the Flagler County Humane Society for help to help me place some of them now that the price of feed has skyrocketed and I'm having trouble keeping up with feeding everyone and, and keeping the, the upkeep of the property. So they decided they were going to bring the Humane Society of the U.S. in to help, to help place the pigs. I signed the pigs over to them. That was the only, that was one way that they said that they, they could guarantee funding and help, and help place them. <coughs> somewhere around 450 pigs. Uh, at the most I had 830, but as they've gotten older, a lot of them have died. I've, my older ones are about 15, 20 years old now, so I've lost quite a few of the older pigs have died. This is my first pig's son. This is Peter, this is Miss Piggy's baby. I've, he was probably born in 95, so he's quite old. And my first pig, she died last last April. I got her in '94. And that's one of she had one litter of babies, and that's one of her babies. Hey, Peter. And the gray one's kind of skinny over there. So a gray one there. All three of babies. I started taking in pot belly pigs, and. Then it just grew and I was taking in half wild pigs. And then I had some wild pigs break in and they made a few babies. So I've been feeding all these guys and I was going to keep them here until they died, but it's just, there's just too many of them. And if I can get any help to place some of them so they have a better life. Some of my donations and my, my social security, it takes all the money I have, over a thousand dollars a week. It doesn't leave me much left over to, to, to pay for help. All their money is going to the feed. And I remember mom telling me, I said, well, when I get better, I'm going to go back to driving a truck. And she goes, you're not going to drive a truck again. Kind of pissed me off.
She didn't seem friendly at first, but now she's like the friendliest pig out here on the farm. pig was down today and I felt so bad for the pig that I went up to her I started petting her and telling her it's okay and I keep the flies off her and I was crying and and I was trying to comfort her and I was visualizing I was telling her about the great place that she was where she was going that uh the lush grass and it'd always be cool there'd be sunny places to lay and she'd be able to go go see her mama. Sunshine. You 